Here we go, Vegan Fooder Reviews. I'm the Vegan Fooder, Thomas Jacoby, and today we're in Columbus, Ohio at Zammy's Vegan Kitchen. Let's go. First off, we got the Rainbow Palm. That's chicken with house pesto, house marinara, gouda, and parmesan. You see that? Cheese, boy. All right, here we go. The chicken is very good. I appreciate that. The cheese, the palm, the pesto, everything go well together. I will say that this is one of the better pieces of grilled chicken that I've had from a vegan restaurant. So shout out to Zammy's for that one. Look, and if we talking chicken sandwiches, I've reviewed some places with chicken sandwiches where I don't finish the whole thing because the chicken ain't no good. I don't know. I don't know what y'all be doing. Well, I, I think it's amazing. Cool. But it's all right. Like there's much better chicken out there and you should be using much better chicken because why? Why just settle for some shit when you can do something that actually fucking tastes good that people want to come back and eat all the time. Right. I'm a sucker for a chicken sandwich. We already know that. Here we go. That's Southwest salad. And the Southwest salad is going to be tomato, corn, pickled jalapeno, smashed avocado, cornbread croutons, and black beans on a bed of spinach and romaine tossed in creamy jalapeno dressing. I'm not going to lie to you. I want to see what these croutons taste like. Look at that. A cornbread crouton. Wow. Okay. Okay. I need croutons like that from now on. It's like a little piece of cornbread into a fucking square that's amazing i'm impressed with the croutons that's crazy let's try this jalapeno dress and see what this like on its own oh hell yes oh my goodness what what jalapeno dressing i like that we go it's a big ass salad i don't know if i'm gonna be able to keep it in frame for y'all but i'm gonna try got the jalapenos got the beans got the avocado got the corn over here got the tomatoes got the uh cornbread croutons over here this is gonna be it this is gonna be it yep yep we ain't got too much to say about this one this salad is incredible and then when you mix the croutons in there and you get that little cornbread flavor oh my goodness I knew it was gonna be something. When the person who came in behind me, after I already ordered ordered the Southwest salad, I said, oh, okay, I, I think I made a good choice on this one. And I did. You gotta blend it all together, though. stir it up, right? A little bit of heat from the jalapenos to go with everything. Mm-hmm. That's a damn good salad. The Southwest salad from Zammy's, that shit fire. And last but not least, we got the peanut butter chocolate fudge bar, and this bitch is huge. That's my hand. That's the piece. Shit is big, boy. So we're going to put this... Uh. So look, we did get this peanut butter chocolate fudge bar from Zammy's, but it says Lindsay's Vegan Comfort Food on it. I'm pretty sure it was made and brought in here, but either way, shout out to Lindsay. Let's see what this tastes like. And shout out to Zammy's for carrying it, too. You ready? Oh, shit. It's real thick. I definitely fudge. That's definitely fudge. I thought the one we tried last time was a little fudgy. This one, real fudge. It's a pretty good choice, man. If you like chocolate and peanut butter like I do, Zammy's Kitchen was worth the trip. Zammy's has wraps, all-day breakfast, sandwiches, salads, burgers, drinks, shakes, and sweets. Take your ass to Zammy's in Columbus, Ohio, and try it for yourself. Let me know what you think. The Zammy burger looked crazy. The Zack burger looked crazy. The mochi melt looked crazy. The pressed pesto grilled cheese. I was going to try that, but I, I I think I decided on the Southwest salad instead of that. Boy. Hey, man, Zammy's got an impressive menu, impressive food, and I'll be back. I'll see y'all next week. Vegan Fooder. Peace.